Today's walk through the windows of Our Lady of Peace Church features a figure that at first we might be really surprised to see. She was a mother and a widow turned founderess of a religious order. She personified true American grit, a woman of holiness, strength, and perseverance. Today, we welcome Saint Elizabeth Ann Seton. Hello, my name is Father Mark Hoffman. And before we actually look at the window, which is small compared to many of the others here at Our Lady of Peace Church, let's learn about St. Elizabeth Seton. Elizabeth Ann Bailey was born in New York City on August 28, 1774, to a prominent Episcopalian family. Her mother died when Elizabeth was just three years old, and in 1794, at the age of 19, Elizabeth married William McGee Seton, a wealthy businessman with whom she had five children. William died of tuberculosis in 1803, leaving Elizabeth a young widow. After discovering Catholicism in Italy, where her husband had died, Elizabeth returned to the United States and entered the Catholic Church in 1805 in New York City. After a number of difficult years, Elizabeth moved in 1809 to Emmitsburg, Maryland, where she founded the Sisters of Charity of St. Joseph, which was to be the first community of religious women established in the United States. She also began St. Joseph's Academy and Free School, planting the seeds of Catholic education in the U.S. Her legacy now includes religious congregations in the United States and Canada, whose members work on the unmet needs of people living in poverty in North America and beyond. Mother Seton, as she's often referred to, was canonized on Sunday, September 14, 1975, in St. Peter's Square by Blessed Pope Paul VI. And perhaps that is why this window was included in this church, because that was the year when our church was being designed. Elizabeth was the first citizen born in the United States to be canonized a saint. Her remains are entombed in Emmitsburg at the Basilica of the National Shrine that bears her name. I also suspect that our window architect of our church honored St. Elizabeth Ann Seton because education has been the cornerstone of ministry in our parish. Our Lady of Peace School was founded and built only two years after the parish began. The Sisters of St. Joseph, who staffed our school, did as St. Elizabeth did. They worked with very little, but they constructed a legacy school where literally thousands of children have attended over the years. For our founding families, educating our children was everything that good ministry stood for. It shined the light of Jesus Christ into every subject and in every child's heart. Let's look now at the window itself. Located on the north wall, east side of the building, the window dedicated to St. Elizabeth Seton bears only three symbols, an outstretched hand, a flame, and two children holding hands. As St. Elizabeth desired all her life, the symbol of the hand of God indicates that God guides and instructs our lives if only we listen to him. Holy obedience to God's will was key to life on this side of heaven. As our school and our religious education programs developed over the years, the core virtue is to keep Jesus Christ and his church at the center of our lives. Under the hand of God, we see a red flame. This flame is a sign of Elizabeth's zeal for her faith, her vocation, and her ministry. The courage she had must have been incredible. It's hard to imagine the opposition this woman met in her life. She was deeply hurt by her own family, who absolutely did not want her and her children to leave the Episcopal Church and to become Catholics. And American culture, too, looked upon Catholics with 
grave suspicion as not being loyal to a free nation, often placing social and legal stumbling blocks in their way. But the most cutting hurt to her was the opposition from several of the Catholic bishops here in the very young United States. But her zeal to form children in the faith resulted in her success in beginning the first Catholic school in our nation. The symbol of the two children highlights St. Elizabeth's work with the young, especially girls who did not normally move on to higher education during Mother Seton's day. Thanks to her example of faith and persistence, children all across America have been given the benefit of a first-rate education in religious and core academic courses. Additionally, among her accomplishments, Mother founded the first Catholic orphanage and hospital in the United States. Mother Elizabeth Ann Seton set a standard for not allowing anything to stand in the way of learning about Christ and the Catholic faith in the home, in the parish, and in the classroom. Thank you for joining me. And don't forget to click on the link provided near this video and enjoy the song, You Are My King, Amazing Love by Chris Tomlin. Keep viewing and journeying to God through the windows of Our Lady of Peace.